The greatest common factor of x cubed and y to the k and uh, x to k, ooh, basketball, um, y to the fourth is x to the third, y to the third. Hmm. What is the value of k? All right, so I have, let's compare the x's. Let's just compare the x's. Okay, my greatest common factor is x to the third and x to the 2k, and my GCF is x to the third. Also, I have y to the k, uh-oh, y2k, remember that, 2000s kids? You don't. And no, no 2000s kid is watching this. And um, y to the fourth. And the greatest common factor of that guy, y to the third. All right. So k's got to be three. It's got to be. It's got to be because if... Um, the greatest common factor between uh, y to the k and y to the fourth is y to the third. That means k is three. If k was like two, then the greatest common factor would be y to the second. If y was just y, then it would be y to the first. And um, yeah, it's got to be y to the third. So k has got to be three. So if k is three, that would make this to the sixth power. Two times three is to the sixth power. And the greatest common factor of x to the third and uh, x to the six is x to the three. Yeah, k's got to be three. Very bizarre problem. Not a fan. I guess a way that you could do this is you can attempt plugging in one, two, three, and four into each of these and just take turns doing them and seeing which one gives you that. But we didn't do it that way.